Kenya as it is today, the runway corruption, crime, portals, garbage, drugs, all these things, we deserve them. Because the leaders who are stealing from us, the people who are making Kenya poorer by the day, are elected by us. There are people who have completely and blatantly and openly destroyed this country. And it is public information, but they will never get punished for it. Because, you know, in Kenya, the more you steal, the further you are from prosecution, you know? The more you steal, the more we can award you medals and even talk about, do you want to buy in 2022? Because this is brilliant, right? Every time we're about to, to make the final penalty kick, to win the game and have 100% reforms, money changes hands, and we lose out. Most of our politicians, they are schooled under the Nyayo way of doing things, both within the, the ruling party and uh, the opposition. We find that these politicians, they have something which I would call Nyayo, Nyayo blood running inside their veins. So I, I find that it's very similar because regardless of which side you're talking about, the, the kind of politics that, uh, the, which is being preached is not one which is uh, geared towards uh, uh, advancing national cohesion, national co reconciliation. Mandela did not care whether he lives in Soweto or he lives in Santon. He didn't care whether he was going to leave a lot of money behind or no money behind. He wanted to leave a legacy behind. He wanted to transform South Africa. I don't think we have had many politicians of that caliber. People who really would want to protect, give everything it demands, everything it takes, just to change this country. The most hopeful day in this country was December 30th, 2002. For me, I was born when Moy was president. I grew up under Moy, and the first time I voted in 2002, Moi and Kanu went home. I was at Uhuru Park when Kibaki gave a speech, saying the days of corruption are done, uh, it's a new dawn, Kenya is going to change. And then there was a lot of corruption under Kibaki, there was anglo leasing, a number of scandals that actually happened during that time. And people lost hope. So Kenya has not changed as much when it comes to corruption. Ata nieli wakati wa Moi kuliko sahi. Sahi sina matumaini. Tukiaje ukabira, ndio tapata nini? Serikali ambayo yuko na wakika. Hata kama haitakuwa 100%, hata iwe 50, lakini hiyo ya serikali ambayo haina ukabira, ndio tutakuwa na mwongoso. During Kanu's time, ethnicity was used as a divide and, and uh, rule kind of tactic. And uh, apparently even now I think we are getting back to the same stage whereby uh, ethnicity is being used to, to divide Kenyans, uh, to rule Kenyans. And uh, for me, it bodes very uh, ill for the future. Kenya is a sick patient. But this sick patient has refused to take medicine. The medicine is a get good leaders. They're not willing to do that. They're willing to just vote along party lines, tribal lines. Some people need to go to jail. We need institutions to work. We need the courts to work. We need the EACC to work. We need the, the prosecutor to work. We need some people in jail because consequences must be there and they should be very dire. There are things that we can't undo. There are people we've killed, we can't unkill them, right? And those are things that need to happen because you can't have a certain group of people wanting to hold on to the realms of power to a point where it doesn't matter who pays for it with their lives. We are not that country. <laughs>